Welcome back, everybody. Uh, we have uh, survived our first night. Let's move on. With that sapling. Uh, the reason I'm going after these saplings so much is because they will become important later on. All right. Let's check out the inventory. Good. We have a full set of inventory. We have our sword, pickaxe. We have a shovel, an axe. We have torches so we can see. We have our workbench. All right, we have um, some dirt and some cobblestone and, of course, some wood. These are items you want to try to keep in your inventory uh, for as much as possible. Uh, I always tell everybody, always try to have some dirt on you at all times. Reason being is uh, a lot of times people will fall in a hole or something and they're like, I can't get out. Well, can you pillar up? Pillaring is nothing more than taking the block, jumping, and placing it by right-clicking. When you right, when you... Uh, jump and right click you place a block underneath you that's called pillar uh, here what i'm going to do is i'm going to crouch and i'll show you now see i'm on top of this huge pillar of dirt well not really huge but all right that's called pillar and I mean, there's other things you can do with dirt or I mean, if you have to you could always build a roof over your head so you know it's like something all right so this way see so if you always had to, you always put a roof over your head or, or something like that. Dirt is a useful, uh, what they call a useful throw right block. Okay, let's see what we got down over this way. Uh, can we get through? Mm -hmm. Here's another one of those one tall block flowers right here. I'm not going to want to collect these just yet. Uh, I mean, eventually I will reason is because as you can see you have only a limited supply of inventory so eventually i will want to collect those blocks all right we have a river here oh look what we got here we have cows and squid uh both of these are our passive mobs they will not attack you even if you attack them cows are a, a great source of food uh squid here will drop an item called an ink sack now, I'm not going to want to kill these guys just yet. If I decide to stay here, and we don't want to deplete their, their, their abundance. I mean, we have four here. So, you know what? Okay. I think I will. All right, now, see right there. Next achievement, cow tipper. Okay, the reason we got that is because when we uh, killed the cow, and to get the raw beef that we have, I mean, we can eat it raw, but it's better if you cook it. We got leather. Leather can be used to make armor and books and other items like that. All right, let me get this other guy here. All right, oh, nice. Now, if you notice when I was mining the coal and, of course, killing the cow there, I got experience. That's this little green bar right here. All right, and you notice I have now uh, three levels. Every time you, uh, I should say every time, most times, when you kill something or when you mine a specific item like coal or diamonds, you will get experience points. Now, this here is clay. And there's another sound. Those sounds are telling you there's stuff around here. I want to grab this clay. Uh, reason being is I want, I may want to, I should say, uh, build with it. Now, when you go underwater, if you notice above the meat popsicles here, these meat popsicles, these little air bubble things. If you run out of this, you will drown. So keep in mind uh, of those air bubbles. There's another two tall flower. Let me grab this one so I have it. And this here is called Sugar King. I'm going to leave the bottom one there so it'll grow naturally just in case I come back here. But Sugar King is a. Uh, food source not the one that you eat right away but something used as an ingredient in other food items it's also used believe it or not to make paper to make books all right now this is this is a dark oak forest nice all right let's grab this tree here because i want the dark oak saplings now the reason i'm going after these saplings is so i can regrow these trees so I can build using different colored wood. Because if you noticed, um, oak has one color. Here, I'll cover it over this birch. 
uh, I'm taking up my inventory between doing that, but I'm not, and you know, so if you see how this has a, a more of a vanilla look, this has more of a white look, and a dark oak has, of course, a much darker color when you convert over to black. Or if you leave the block, you know, looking like it is, you, you, you'd see this is what it would look like if you set the block down. So if I took this block here and reset it down, it, re, you know, it looks like just like what I'm cutting down now. Okay. All right. Um, one of the things I want to point out here, uh, you, you're going to see what I'm doing is it, this is called the grind it's an unfortunate part of the game and a lot of people cut these segments out of the videos uh, it's something you're gonna have to get used to having in the game there's gonna be those times when you're just out there farming and I'm not talking about just farming food farming things like this tree here or I'm going out looking for stone or diamonds this all takes time so that's called the grind. All right. Uh, good. All right. That's. Uh, oh, oh. Okay. See right over there. That right there. That is a red mushroom. All right. That's a tall one. Oh, right next to it was a brown one. Look at that. Nice. All right. Good. Those are food sources. You can make. Ooh, you know what? I'm gonna grab this brown mushroom right here, though. Here's another one. Okay. So you brown mushroom. With brown and red mushrooms, you can make what's called mushroom stew. Which used to be a really good food source in the game. Let's see. Now, I need to get four saplings out of this tree. With, okay. Uh, oh, we got two already. Let's put it down here so I can see how many we get. Oh, just more apples. Look at that. Look at that. That's great. Awesome. All right. The thing with replanting trees, these single trees, like this birch and this oak here, only requires you to plant down one sapling. So in other words, I'd have to uh, say I took this here and I was going to plant it. I drop one tree down, and I can walk away, and uh, that will eventually will grow, or should. I mean, it'll probably is that a note? Yeah. But the dark oak, though, you need four saplings so in other words I would actually have to plant this like this one two three four that's the only way to get a dark oak tree to grow if you don't have four saplings you cannot grow a dark oak tree so let's see if we get back to getting these saplings to drop if I can't get them I'm gonna have to chop down another tree because I do want Looks like I'm not going. Okay, I'm not going to get it. Am I? Mm, it happens. Since I'm almost out of the day here. Ah, break. All right. No, it didn't happen. All right. No problem. We'll just take down another tree. Majority for the wood already. That's good. Right. That's all right. Now some of these other resources that are here, such as like the sand, that gravel over there. I'm not going to collect any of this stuff right now. Once again, it's because I don't have the inventory slots, and I'm not planting my feet anywhere just quite yet, because I haven't found a place that I want to want to stay at. So I'm not going to take this stuff at this time because I can always come back later and grab it if I want or if I need to. And chances are I'll probably find the stuff in the location of where I decide to stay. Alright. Uh, oh, well, let me, let me get a little bit better in the stack of wood. Let's see. Right, you know what? I'm going to use some dirt myself at a higher location here and start whacking away these leaves so we can get it, two more saplings to drop there's one 
Now, I don't want to stay here. Um, reason being is dark oak forest, at least to me, seems to spawn creepers a lot. And I just not. Oh, oh, there's another one right there. And as you can tell, we're again going to lose the light. So we're going to move on to our next night. Can I get any extras here? Can I get that one? Yeah, okay. Alright. Let's collect up our stuff here. And as you see, I now have four saplings. Good. I have one. Ooh, there's an extra. Nice. Alright, now we've lost another one. We've lost the daylight. So, right there. You see right there? That is a zombie. He can't see us because uh, his vision is blocked by the tree right there. So, you know what we're going to do? We're going to leave him alone for right now. Uh, I do have three beef on me. Where are we? Oh, oh, you hear that sound? That's a spider sound. Um, be careful with those, those spiders. They do what's called a jump attack. When we fight one, you'll see it. But he's got something we're going to want. It's called string. You're going to need string to make a bow and um, a fishing pole with. And you can also make wool to help make a bed. Uh, this looks like it's a yeah, birch forest biome. Um, Ooh, what is that over there? Okay. Let's follow the river. Let's, let's get down here. Um, let me get my sword out. Because I hear him around us. Uh, you know what? Um, I'm sorry. I gotta do this. I gotta eat. So what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna bury myself in... for me. Okay. Grab some stuff here. Okay. Now, what I want to do, I want to drop down my furnace. Alright, I have five pieces of raw beef. I'm going to put the raw beef in the furnace. Alright. And, oh, I used up all my coal. That's fine. Well, you don't need that. What you can do is you can take your wood uh, and you burn the wood. Well, actually, let me show you. Before I do that, let's do this. Uh, you know, I'm not going to burn my birch, though. All right. We're going to put... This is going to be your full fuel source, which is going to uh, burn. We're going to put that up here. Now, you see this little flame here? That's telling you that the fuel is cooking this item, this dark oak. This is going to become what's called charcoal. So if you can't find coal, you can make this item here called charcoal. And what that'll do is where that one piece of wood cooked only one item, all right, this piece of charcoal will cook up to eight items. So this stack of five right here, I'm going to be able to cook in one shot. So I'm going to put that in my furnace. It's going to eat the, the charcoal, and it's going to cook this food item right here. So now we're going to go from raw beef to steak, our first food item right there. All right, now, let's eat. Yum, 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 yum. And now, as you saw, when I ate, this right here went up in here. Went up in um, meat popsicles, if you will. I'm not at full health yet, so I still can't regenerate. But if I eat again, I now have full saturation on my food bar. And as you can see, my health bar starts blinking, which means I'm now naturally healing. Okay, right there. All right. Let's get the rest of this meat. Now, with full health, I can go actually go out and do what I want to do. All right, let's pick this up. I don't want to leave this here. I mean, I can always make another one, but I really don't want to leave it. All right. Let's get my sword out. See, you got some more of this clay here, this gravel, sand, of course. Now, what I'm doing here is I'm in the water. If I, if I don't do anything, I'll just slowly sink. But if you hit the space bar, that's your jumping key. 
You see I'm jumping here? I can actually jump and move through the water. Like what I'm doing right here. Alright. So. Alright. Let's see where we're at here. Creeper. Another creeper right there. Now. You can defeat these guys. I got a stone sword. Well, there's a technique you want to do with these guys called stick and move, like a boxing technique here. Yeah. Ah, I missed. Darn. Oh well. It happened. But I didn't take any damage because I was far enough away from the explosion. So I didn't take no damage on it. See that over there? That light source, right? I gotta keep looking around here so I don't get attacked. That that light source right there. That is a sign of uh, a lava source on the surface. All right. Uh, what we got here? Anything? Nothing. Okay. Let's go check that lava source. So oh, right there. That right there. Rabbit. You see over there, you got a zombie. Oh, look at that up there in the sky. That's a floating island. That's a feature unique to Minecraft. Oh, there's another creeper. Um, okay. Okay, stick and move. Attack and back up. Attack and back up. Now, four hits. Do that four times, and you will be able to do, destroy this monster. Just like that. All right. Plenty of rabbits here. Nice. Let's see if we can get over to that floating island. Um, that's a unique feature, and you know when the map generates these, sometimes these segments. Oh, there's a skeleton. They're a ranged attack uh, monster. Got some coal here. Sheep. Oh, good. We got sheep. More mobs. That right there. Uh, that floating island. It's just a rendering in which uh, the game decided not to put anything underneath it. And of course we got that lava source over there. How are we doing on our night cycle here? Okay, we're almost done with the night cycle. More coal. Got some that's spruce trees right there. So that's another tree we're going to want. So now we have three trees. That will give us our fourth tree. Let's... Um, Okay, you see that head bobbing up and down right there? That must mean there's water right there. So that skeleton is trapped inside a water source because he's trying to stay above it. So he's jumping up and down. And there's that spider I was talking about right over there. Let's see if I can get to show you that jumping attack. Oh. There's a rabbit. We got, we got a hole here. Okay. Got another hole here, got some coal, and we're just gonna get daylight here. Oh, there's a skeleton. You know what? Here, let's see if we can get the skeleton to drop his bow. Drop it, drop it, drop it, drop it. Alright, now you see what I did there is I took the skeleton and I backed him into this little corner here. By doing that, I'm actually trapping him in a way, preventing him from um, uh, attacking me back. Get a little hole there. Alright, the moon is going down, the sun is coming up. Where is that spider? There he is, he's over there. That zombie's over there. Does he see me yet? Not yet. Alright. So, you can survive these things. Oh, there's two spiders here. Alright, no, oh, oh, he saw me. And here comes the spider. Okay, and I got two coming after me. Okay, come on. Come on, let's get over to a little bit better ground where I can fight this thing. Now watch, this guy's going to try jump attacking me. See that right there? That's called a jump attack, what he just did. Let's get this guy here. Okay. Good. 
All right, now, see that skeleton in the there right there? That's burning. That means the day cycle has officially started, and uh, undead mobs like zombies and skeletons will burn up in sunlight. Kind of like the old horror flick uh, scenario. Let's go see if they dropped anything. If they did, let's pick it up. Because they might want to stay here. Maybe build a small little base. Got some rock flash. Got some bones, good arrows. All right, good. All right, good, good, good. Um, okay. Uh, rotten flesh is, is you can eat it if you have to. Uh, it'll poison you, but it, it's more of like a there's a whole uh, a food source to, for like dogs. Um, yes, you can actually find wild dogs and tame them. There's a baby rabbit right there. Look at that baby rabbit. Um, you can tame wild dogs to make them uh, pets. And they will actually uh, protect you, believe it or not. Alright. I don't see any more. Oh, wait. Let's see what we got here. Oh, here's another baby rabbit. See right there. And if I killed him, he wouldn't drop anything. But this adult one could potentially drop uh, rabbit hide, which can turn into leather and uh, uh, food source, mm -hmm. and he uh, can drop a, what's called a rare item, a rabbit's foot. All right, and that's our second day. We have survived our second day. And with that, uh, I'm gonna say goodbye. So remember, keep playing, keep building, and we'll be with you. Take care.